Hello everyone. So today uh, we are going to work on how to use the skill tree with the multiplayer game and how to make sure our skill upgrades are replicated and max health changes are properly applied. So here now the left side is the server, right side is the client or an enemy also came. So let me just while the server fights let me from the server side go here now i have enough skill points let me go to my skill tree and activate right. see now my health bar is length is increased that means my health upgrade that i applied through the skill tree is applied to the player and the, and it worked on the client now uh, I need to check on the server side. So now this left side is the server here Right now like opening this boxes is the way that I've drawn skill points. So that's why I'm opening boxes oh, Now the NPC is fighting the client while they are fighting. Let me open skill tree go back here activate apply two health upgrades now see this is also increased and i had already lost some of the health because of that it's not filled but still i have the capacity to increase my health so that is now properly working on both client and server all right so let's see how to do these things today and as always before we get started here uh, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects from my patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without any limits so feel free to check it out actually it's just not this project there are over 2000 videos in my channel and for each video project files are available and also here is the full playlist of this uh, action rpg with gameplay ability system series feel free to check it out everything is shared here you can watch and implement from scratch by yourself by following this um, tutorial so i'll leave the link in description below and now let's get back to the today's tutorial okay so right now if i try to play this as a client yeah now i don't have any skill points but let me just get some skill points by going here doing some activities i got two skill points and if i go to my skill tree and try to activate it shows like it is activated but as you see here this is not actually uh, increased the health bar remains the same so the reason is here if i go to my ui and skill tree widget skill button on click here i have used this give ability and activate once as you can see here this is authority only that means this will only work on either server or only in standalone mode so i for such cases i have implemented this function give a bit give an activate ability replicated this is not a default function this is something that i have already implemented and i can use it and i will show you the implementation as well in case you don't remember so now we don't need this this i can see i have implemented this in third person player if it is authority we just do this if it is not we give and activate we call this server function so basically do the same thing that we do here but this is running on server that's pretty much it 
in terms of replication that we need to do okay another thing is yeah and now let's check now note that we are the this is where the length of the skill tree sorry uh, help bar let me put this here so you know where the edge is got the skills activate to both skill tree up uh, both health upgrades now you see it's increased so it is working but still you see one more issue that we only had 100 health points so this part should be empty if it works correctly so that is because even though we have added max health we are not we haven't utilized it yet so to do that here this is base actor attributes and here i have the health and max health but i am not really mm, using this max max health to clamp health value so i should do that in this function pre attribute change function which i have already implemented and i'm doing some stuff related to defense there so here i have made a mistake initially the mistake is this is not actually delta this is the attribute and this is new value i thought here i get the difference but it's actually giving us the new value that we are about to uh, update the attribute so you can actually see that if you go to the super function here you see float new value it's not delta so this is a mistake i made a long time ago while i was studying uh gas so maybe i don't know if it changed later on or what happened but that's how i understood it back then so what we should do is let's rename this press control r twice I don't think this changes. Yeah. No. C plus plus five. Yeah. Update this as well. New value. Okay. Now, if you don't remember, this defense comes into play. Like defense is something that I get. From the equipments that I wear in armor, helmets, things like that. So if I have defense, the damage that I receive is reduced. That's what happened in here. But since I was wrong about this value, this is also not correct. Now here I let it create a new dot value called delta and it should be new value minus the current health value and if delta is uh, less than zero that means we are taking damage if you are about to take any damage this part should take place now we need to fix this code instead of new value this should be delta so basically what we are doing here is here we consider maximum defense we can have is 200 but if i'm doing this right i should have added the new added another variable called max defense as well but i'll leave that for another day and i'll just hard code this value so simpler but you should actually add a new variable here for mass defense and then here new value would be new value should be the update a new value delta plus uh, 
Now, after that, we need to clamp new value with the max health. So, this is regardless we are getting damage or we are getting health added to the character. So, like this. There. Go back here. All good. Now let's see. Right. Now we have two skill points. Go here, activate, activate. See? Now our length of the health bar is increased, but we only have the previous amount of health that we already had. So that means the system is working as intended. So the next thing that I want to check is save and load of the uh, skill tree. We already have a save and load mechanism implemented. All I have to do is press home button to save. And right now, I don't think I have any UI notifications for save. But here, if I go to saved and save games, let me just delete this. Press oh, oh, actually saved. I have this print, so it is saved. Now there should be a new save file right here. So it's there. If I stop the game and play a game. Save file is not loaded because you see the device still like that, and these two are not activated. So, we will look into that in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments and see you in the next episode goodbye